Okay guys, so I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what I think is the fastest way to upload a low content or no content book to KDP, Amazon KDP Publishing, okay? And that is using BookBolt. I will leave a link for Book BookBolt in the description. Now, this is a excellent little business. Okay, you sign up for Amazon KDP. You sign up for BookBolt, obviously. And once you've signed up, this is the, what do you call it, the back office of BookBolt, obviously. You've got all the tutorials you need, video tutorials. But one thing they've added that absolutely just makes it so much easier and fast there is if you come onto back office and click on the little avatar hit book bolt lister okay what when you do that you will get a uh book bolt lister is a crime uh chrome <laughs> not a crime if it's a crime it's a good crime um a Chrome extension, okay, mine's already up there, there it is there, if you can see it, so it basically goes on up, you know, up there, on your, you know, where your extensions go, now, then, now I've already, I've already, what happens is, you come to here, you, you hit add, okay, now, active why does it say is active you have to have an amazon kindle account uh to tick that okay so i've fooled all the i fooled the title the name description okay uh keywords categories cover finish and trim size now, what does hot key mean? Hot key means that when you go on to KDP Publishing, and I'll show you in a minute, minute, and choose what you want to make, like hardback copy or paperback copy, all you have to do when you when you come on to profiles, when you add, it'll say hot key. Well, the hot key basically meant what it means is you pick one key on your keyboard. You know, I picked the letter Q, right? So when I go onto the Amazon to fill out everything on Amazon, uh, I just hit the Q on my keyboard and all this information here is automatically put in, okay? which speeds up the process greatly. I'm experimenting at the moment. You don't need to worry about this. Um, I'm experimenting at the moment with uh, customized names. So I'm going to do about 50 comic books, no, maybe not 50, 10, with the name Cedar, okay? I'm just experimenting. Um, but anyway, that you don't have to worry about that. Now, okay. So all you have to worry about is finding images for your cover. Now here's book pop. Okay, that's the last one I did. So let's clear this. Clear all. This is in your book bolt. This is, uh, so once you get, like here, if you press on book bolt designer, you will come over to here where you actually do the design okay now don't be put off there is a, obviously there's a little learning curve but don't be put off by that so you need some images for your cover okay so you can go to, go to I'm with a I bought a you know paid a one-off payment for a software called Prime Stocks that basically 
does all the searching for royalty free uh, photos and images and videos and gifs and illustrations and stick stickers and uh, motion backgrounds they do all the searching for me so all I have to do is just put in something in the search like I've got comic in there and I'll leave a link for prime stocks but you don't need this guys okay uh, you could go into a place like uh, pixabay.com um, unsplash.com and use images on there okay so now I had a couple of images so let's start the process here I'll find a couple of images da -de -da. I had a couple of lined up here I like this little one okay so I'm going to download this little stormtrooper uh, that's the front that's going to be the front and somewhere down here is the back where is he there okay so I've downloaded those and now I upload them to here. Boom. Boom. I put them on there. And I put them on there. And I muck around to get the fitting right. I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere along the way Book Bolt comes with that speeds up the cover process because now this is the bit that takes the longest okay Oops. And you, like I say, you just have to learn how to do this. There's no way around this, guys. You have to learn how to do it. Okay. Yep. And then, need some text. So this one, like previous books I've done, is going to be Cedar's comic book. Ah, this one's going to be a bit difficult because of the colours. What I'm going to do is change the colour, colour to white. And then I need to obviously make that. Oops. Make that. Cedar, Cedar's comic book. So this is a why they call this low content is because it's blank pages, so people can draw their own pages for this comic book. Okay, guys. Now what I'm going to do here, because you probably won't be able to see, people probably won't be able to see that writing properly. So what I do in this case is I go into shapes. I go down to this rectangle, I bring the rectangle over here, I stretch it out to cover the lettering, which is a pity because it cuts out the picture a bit, and I go up here and I go back and there's that. Line it up as much as you could as possible. And that's the cover done guys okay that's the cover done and then i hit save save and then i hit download okay guys so that's ready to download so we'll download that download that you can see so it's best at this point you really got to check it guys see you can see my uh downloading a bit slow so when you get it make sure that everything's correct here okay looks all right so we'll download that now we'll call it a name so i'll put cedar 5 because i've made all the other ones 
and I want to keep it in my desktop so let's hit save now guys you might be wondering well where do I get the interior from you know like blank comic book now book bold has it all guys what you do is so you've made your cover now you want your interior so mine's blank I'm making blank comic books for kids or whoever adults to make their own comic books okay so go to interior and here they all are now I do I'm not I don't have to worry about this but what I do is I bleed you pick your most of my books are eight biggest and most of my books are 150 pages but you don't have to make them that big uh, guys okay now these are oh hold on hold on uh, anyway it says I'm not logged in but uh, I am um, hold on well I can't log in because you'll see all my details and that but once you're logged in you get all these ones too as well okay now so these are all the interiors that you'll get recipe books hexagon hexagon paper uh, scuba diving day planners deck trackers fishing log books now a popular one coming out I believe soon is uh, will be um, journals um, what log books if you want to call them for keeping all your notes about cryptocurrencies now see here guys I don't know if you can see it but that's a blank comic book okay so you click on that and then you when it comes to I'll show you in a minute let's get rid of this so in this oh there's hundreds of uh, when you log in you'll get all these two I don't know why it's doing that so as you can see there there's a lot to do list school timetable bill reminders um cleaning <coughs> excuse me <coughs> expenses property inspection mail tracker on and on it goes recipe books etc 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 log books are pretty popular you know for you know truck drivers or whatever whatever let's get rid of this now so that's there okay now let's so this is the back office of your book, uh, book bolt um, subscription you know your office once you sign up for a subscription and then you get your load up your book bolt lister and put it into your into your browser okay and that you'll come up with that yours will be blank low you hit add you fill out all the details so I've pulled, filled out all my details okay you pick the hot key that you want to go with I've picked Q so now here we go on to Amazon and that's the last book I made there now watch this watch this um, so I pick paper book oops oh. hold on guys And here we are now as you can see at the moment like title name description is all blank all blank guys okay see this keywords all blank this whole page all blank and this is the page that takes the most time now watch this I'll hit the I'll hit the Q what's that title there I'll hit the Q button see that now it's all folded out one okay then I just hit save for the next page but that that page I just show you, that's the page that takes the longest then you've got to give it a ISB number okay and then date 
publish it today and then I always do the biggest 8 point whatever 11 bleed I always put lead bleed um, bleed just means you know it's okay for your f cover your photo whatever photo you put into your cover it's okay if a little bit goes over the edge okay and then you this is where you okay so where is it and um, the book bolt what I showed you before the oh, the interior so here you've downloaded your comic book okay now you're uploading it okay here's my one here somewhere hold on desktop am I on the desktop can't find it uh hold on I'm looking for comic here it is so that's my interior okay comic book one now your computer will be faster than this I've got I've actually got two computers going <laughs> And about 50 browsers open. Okay, so that's done. Now, with the cover, you can use their cover creator. I don't, because they haven't got many to pick from. I, I use this one, upload a cover, you've already done. Okay, then hit upload. And uh, where is it? C to 5. Here's my cover that I just, you guys saw before okay so that's uploading now don't forget that you your guys you know your computer will be definitely faster uploading than this i've got too much going on at the moment i've got phones going i've got two computers going soon i'll have an xbox going in the background So I've uploaded my cover now. You always have to after you've uploaded your interior and your cover, you always have to do a preview because they ask you to preview it to make sure the cover's right and everything's correct before you publish it. Okay, so we'll launch that. This takes some, you know, probably a minute, minute or two. Okay, guys. So here it is here. It's looking good. Uh, see over here. This will tell you if there's any major mistakes. It's usually in red. If there's mistakes. But it looks like it's good to go. And also I think if there's mistakes. You wouldn't be able to hit the approve button. So I'm just going to hit the approve button. And. Then we just. Pop down here, save and continue. Now here's where we put the price and we're basically done. Okay. Now for this book I'm putting, it's a cheapy $5.99. So I only get 94 cents, but who cares? It's up there forever. Uh, publish your book. Yeah, it's up to you. You can sell it for whatever. Well, I'd probably sell them a bit too cheap. Uh, six ninety nines, even seven dollars. Probably six ninety nines better. Um, but anyway, that's up to you. I'm I'm sort of uh, in it long term, so. And then you just hit publish, and that's basically it, guys. So I will leave a link for, I don't know if you're interested in that, uh, Prime Stocks. And there it is there, that's my book. Being submitted, and then they check it. Okay, they check it within 72 hours, and they send you an email that says, your book has been published, congratulations. Okay, so I'll put a link to, uh, 
prime stocks if you're interested like I say you can just use unsplash uh, somewhere like that and um, I'll put a link to bookbolt and um, once you're in bookbolt you can get this chrome uh, listed which speeds everything up guys as just fill in the details and then daddy bloody bloody daddy okay so I'll leave you with that and I'll leave you a description for book, book bolt and yeah obviously in the below as well